So I've always been intrigued with working smarter, not harder. And the idea of using robotic process automation or remapping a business process flow so that everything works more smoothly is, is really an area of great passion of mine and something I've been working on. So what I want to do is show you some of the new tools that I've been playing with from Microsoft with robotic process automation and artificial intelligence so you can get a feel for what's out there, maybe ways that these things can work in your business. So this is Power Automate Desktop. And what Power Automate Desktop lets us do is interact with the desktop user interface and automatically run tasks as a robot. And so in this demo, what we're gonna see is interaction with a legacy application, interaction with uh, internet web page, and interaction with Excel writing a record. And so let's see what it does. Let's go ahead and run the flow. Here's the legacy application, and it's going to enter a record. Since we hit play, there's been no touching of the mouse or the keyboard. Everything is pre-recorded with variables. And now it's going to launch Excel and enter the record as that bottom line. So that was Power Automate Desktop. But let's see the next step about how we can integrate this with Power Automate on the web and do a complete business solution with an artificial intelligence model and a business approval workflow. Take a look. So this is Power Automate on the web. And what I'm going to show you here is a complete business solution that's going to combine uh, artificial intelligence and an approval workflow. And the way this flow starts is a new email comes into the inbox with the subject, new invoice, with an attachment of an invoice. And when that attachment comes in, it goes through an artificial intelligence model. And that model then extracts out uh, the bill's value, the contact person's name, the date, and then it submits that to the submitter through Teams and asks for approval. And it says, hey, do you approve it? And if you do, then the real power comes in where it starts to run a Power Automate desktop uh, process, just like we saw in the earlier part of this video. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. And what we'll do is send an email with a copy of this invoice that's here on the right. And what it's going to do is it's going to send the, uh, the bill to name, the contact name, the amount, and the date. As long as that's an invoice in both either PDF or JPEG, it'll go. Now remember, the important part here is that the subject here says new invoice, and it's sent from the submitter. And you'll see here as that flow kicks off, we'll get a green check right behind this invoice, and that'll show us that it's working. And then in just a moment, we're gonna get a Teams notification, but this could just as well be an email or some other notification back to the submitter to review the company name, the contact person, the uh, document date and the amount, and ask for approval. And then once approved, here you see how the complete business solution then pushes this information, this record of this invoice, back to Power Automate Desktop to then enter this invoice information into the legacy application. For some business processes, systems can be tied together with, it, with an application program interface or API. But uh, for some, there is no API. And that's where our Automate Desktop really comes in because you can do things just like a person would do, but instead the software can do it for us. You can see the record comes in. It's going out to the web and it's gonna drop this into dollars in the United States dollars and then change the drop down menu 
to British pounds and then read the converted amount. And really this is just an example to show you everybody what this could do, examples of what it can do. And then you see that it added as the last line there, the last row of record to Excel. And then to let the submitter know, in just a moment here, we'll see a Teams notification, which also could be an email that says, hey, this worked, and there it is. It's been approved, and this flow is now complete. So what do you think? Bots, AI, do you want to learn more? Is there ways where this could work in your business? Check out our blog post, or feel free to reach out. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.